Hi everyone, this is Izzy. It's nice to see you again. Um, today I want to talk to you a bit about insect damage because I've got some in my collection. So what happened was I've opened the windows um, because the weather has changed and uh, insects have got in through those windows. So the two kinds of insects that I often have are thrips and scale insects. And they look a little bit different on the plant, uh, but they're both pretty easy to treat if you're a bit persistent. The thrips are the easiest, the scale insects are a little harder. So let's start with how do I know I've got some bugs. Basically um, I can see damage. So this is my Cambria jungle monarch and on the newest growth I've got little spots. As you can see Each of these little spots has also got a little punch mark in the middle. And that is made by the stylet of some biting insect. There's quite a few on there, aren't there? These spots are dry. And I can't see any other insects down in the pot. I can't see anything going on. So this is why I think this time I've got thrips. Thrips are really tiny little bugs that puncture the leaf with their stylet, which leaves that little hole and suck out a little bit of sap which leaves the little ring around it. So that's why you get these little damaged spots. Um, if I had scale insects instead I'd be more likely to have stickiness around where they've been feeding on the plant and I'd also probably find little scale insects down inside the crown here um, and with the scale insects and treat them a little bit differently. So thinking about it, looks like thrips. It's a bit of a shame because these are on the new growth and when this leaf grows out it will still have those spots. So now that leaf is permanently damaged but there you go. Main thing is to get rid of those insects next before they really take a hold and start to damage other plants. So the way I get rid of the insects is by giving them a little spray and I'd spray them with either washing up liquid, diluted very, very uh, weak. So I take a drop or two and put it in this half litre bottle, which I spray the plants with. Uh, or I would use some soap that doesn't contain many additives and mix that in with some water and essentially spray upwards underneath the leaves so that um, the leaves get a good coating. I want to avoid spraying down into the crown because that might give me crown rot even if it does get rid of the insects so I really don't want that. Um, so I will treat this uh, plant with some of this mixture and this mixture works because it's a bit like you know um, soap and washing up liquid dehydrate your hands um, so when you spray them on an insect they do a similar thing they remove fats they remove oils they dehydrate the insect so that the insect dies I said if I had scale insects I'd do something slightly different um, and that's because scale insects are a little bit tougher to get rid of than thrips. Thrips are nice and easy, but with scale insects, you need to pick off the adults, which have got a little protective sheath on top of them in order to treat uh, the plant. So you would pick off the scale insects, and then you would still need to spray. And this is because the adult females have got eggs underneath their shells. So by picking off the shells and then spraying, you can make sure you kill the adults and you also get rid of the eggs. So that should be more effective at getting rid of the scale insects. Right, so hopefully this works over the coming weeks. And no more insects, no more thrips for this time of year. I hope it works for you if you try it. Um, thanks for listening. Uh, it's been lovely to see you. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Um, give it a like if you like the video and subscribe if you'd like to hear more. See you again soon. Bye!